Hey guys, it's Alicia and my husband Jarrett. We've got this new Hamilton Beach coffee maker that we're going to be unboxing. So we've we've had a Keurig since 2010. Yeah, I think at least. Um, and inevitably, what ends up happening is we go to descale them and then it gets clogged and there's nothing that can be done to um, get it to work again. Um, we've gone through processes of, of contacting um, Keurig and they're very hard, to get, very hard to get a hold of and you have to troubleshoot everything and at the end of it um, I think the last one Amazon actually fulfilled the return. The return. Um, so we've had one since December that was working really good. Descaled it a couple of times without any issues, and then I can't, I can't get it to descale now. It's completely plugged. Well, and the thing with it is, it was working fine, and then the the second you brew, literally the first time you brew, because we use vinegar in, in, in lieu of the descaling solution, that's it. It's done. So to, it immediately plugs up. And, um, you know, Once it says you need to descale, is yeah. what I'm trying to say. There's not really any notice. They tell you that, or it shows up that it needs to be descaled, and then it's just toast, pretty much. So, you know, there is a possibility if we descaled it once a week without the machine telling us it would be easier. Um, however, I've had them plug up right away after like three weeks of use. So Yeah, we're kind of just over Keurig at this point, I think. So I looked online and it was this one or the Ninja. Um, now Hamilton Beach, I, they're a well-known appliance, like a countertop appliance manufacturer. They have a number of different versions of this. This one is the, um, the, the Flex Brew Trio. And they have one underneath this that I can't remember. Um, I think one, it, it doesn't do pods, but you can brew your own single, or you can do a pot. This one you can do a single, a pot, or you can use pods. So single, you mean these um, plastic? So you put your, yeah, you put yeah. your coffee in the little plastic basket. Mm -hmm. um, Versus the K-cup, which is already And then you can do singles. Filled. And then the one above this, it does the exact same thing, but it's thermal, so it has an insulated um, carafe. So okay. this is the one we went with because we still have pods, though we've been using loose coffee lately. And we really like the carafe on the old Keurig, or our previous Keurig that we had. Yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Um, so this is the unboxing, we'll see what comes with it and see how hard it is to set up for initial use. And you did get a two year warranty. Yeah, so that's one benefit of ordering it through, I mean, Amazon will do it. Um, I got this one at Target and did a two year replacement warranty for $17. So this time, if this, this one plugs up, like the Keurig does, I can go get a new one from Target. So, we've got a manual, I assume that's what that is, mm -hmm. and the machine in a plastic bag. It's definitely not as attractive as our Keurig. No, it's not as attractive and it actually looks bigger. I don't know that it is bigger because there are other ones over there. But um, The reservoir, well, who knows, it's a different shape. I don't think the reservoir is bigger or the same size. I think it's a bit smaller. But again, the point of this is to get one that doesn't that when we clean it, it doesn't break on us. That's not it's the kiss of death when you go to clean it. So there's the single basket. Okay. And that looks a lot different than the Keurig. Yeah. A lot bigger. So it's, it doesn't mimic a pod. It's an actual, it's almost a, an actual coffee basket. Yeah. Where the Keurig ones do mimic pods. They look pretty much the same size and very similar yeah. to a pod. So is that supposed to only do one cup or do yeah. we know yet? Okay. That's my understanding. So there's a reservoir. So this 
Um, can you tilt it sideways again or show the 56? So I believe that, I believe our old one it was 60. Yeah, so this is 56, which is a little smaller, but again. Got a hand, got a, oh yeah, show a nice, that. It's got a nice grip. It comes, so it's got the handle there, which you can grab it real easy, which Just a lot of the Keurigs are a pain yeah. to take that reservoir nice. out. Easy. So here's the, giraffe, uh, the carafe. Well, standard old carafe. Hard, hard to mess those up. So that has a handle. Okay, so that's... So this is, and this is really nice. So the the Keurigs, if you're putting in a, a certain kind of a, like a personal K-cup, you have to pop the the thing out and it's it's not very user-friendly. That's really user-friendly. So that this is for the pods. Okay. Or K-cups, is that what you're saying? Yes, K-cup type pods. So, okay, so that goes in there. Yeah, so that's one of the brewing modes. And then if you're doing your own, you just put a whole just, different you one You just in. drop it in there. Okay. Yeah, that is nice. Instead of having to mess around between the two. Yeah, a little, a little simpler than the Keurig. Yes, yeah, so this is not something I realized. So if you look in here, you put water for the carafe. Down through there? You fill it up in there. Oh, interesting. So the reservoir is it's only separate. for the singles. Oh, well, we had actually said that about the Keurig. Wouldn't it be nice if they had kind of a separate? Yeah. So it goes, you can do, um, it looks like it's got a measurement for two, two to 12 cups. Does it have that inside here? Yeah. Oh steps. yeah, I see. Okay, yeah. Right there, the steps. So that's, that's where you're pouring your water. Though. Yeah. And up to whichever step amount of cups that you want. Yeah. That is really nice. I like that. Yeah. And what's, then what's that little oh that is what's this for? So you can get the basket out. Okay. That puts the water it puts the lotion oh, okay, on the skin. Okay, so that's where the water comes <laughs> yeah. lotion on the skin. That's where the water comes out. Okay. So I went ahead and bought coffee filters because I did not want to get derailed by not having a filter, but does the Keurig fit in there? It does. The Keurig fits in there. Yay! So I was looking online for a, a Hamilton Beach specific and all the baskets were saying fits most 12 cup machines and mm -hmm. so I figured the one we had probably fit most cup 12 machines. And it does. Okay. Yeah, so that's nice. And I'll link that basket. I don't know if this is if this Hamilton Beach is on Amazon, do you know? Oh yeah. Okay, so uh, we'll have the link for Yes, this is not a special um Target target version some of the things like our old air fryer was a special um, Sam's Club so some of the stuff is so this is not I'll have a link for the coffee maker so The basket it's got the um, down in the description It's got the uh, Platform there for cups Yeah here this platform does that fit? So it fits. So big, that's probably our biggest mug right there. This yeah. one I use all the time. No, I am I actually I'm not convinced it goes back enough. Um yeah, I see what you're so saying. So we'll have to we'll have to play around with that. Try that out with just water in case it starts making a mess. And then if you want to do a travel mug, and I have a couple of examples here, that just comes off. That fits nicely. Mm-hmm. And I know a lot of folks have the Contigo. Contigo, and it fits nicely. Yeah. And we have a big Contigo. The tall 20 ounce. Which I don't think it's in here. It's missing. in our trailer. Um, I'm not sure if that would fit or not, but there's a lot of space under there, which is really nice. Yeah, it's a good size space for travel mugs. We've ran into that with the Keurig, where one of one of the things we potentially use. On Do occasion, did not fit, and it was just barely. Yeah, so it's nice when those travel mugs fit under yeah. there, because sometimes you want to just get your coffee on the go. So Actually, a lot of times. That's all that's in the box. Okay. Some packing, the machine, and its uh, various things, and then the 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 book. I want to do the initial setup. So wash all removable par parts in hot soapy water, rinse and dry. Brew one cycle with water on each side and discard water. So pretty simple to get this going. So we'll go ahead and um, wash. Do that. So we're gonna wash all the our the parts. removable parts. Yeah. 
those and that. And that, because that's removable. Okay. And then we'll run water through. Is it just once that you run the yeah, water so through once, both sides? Once through here, once through here. Okay. And then it's ready to use. Okay. So we washed um, the loose items. Uh, one thing we didn't mention before is the reservoir obviously comes out, so we washed it. Yeah, reservoir. And then this little guy up here. Where is it? So this oh, is right a removable there. needle. Um, you don't have to remove this for anything other than cleaning, from what I can tell. Um, so there's the arrow. I struggled with this before. So it just pushes back in and twists, and then it's locked. Um, let me show the basket. Show the basket. So I think we got everything clean that's supposed to be cleaned. Again, that's just with warm, soapy water. So we're going to run water through, um, and this is this is just like any traditional coffee pot. Coffee pot. Oh, sorry, what step did we get to? Twelve, yeah, almost. Almost. Okay. So that's just so if you're on the twelve cup line here, it'll fill up just below the 12th step. Okay. So, we're going to plug it in. And it'll ask you to do the clock. Let's see, it's 12, 12, 12. And just wait. Just wait, and there. So let's do the carafe first. Um, carafe, it's only going to brew what's in there. So hit carafe, brew now, it'll say it's brewing, and so it's going to warm up. I have no idea how long that's going to take. So it is going to brew everything that you put in there, yeah. is what so you're saying. Cups. So, so if we put six cups, it would only brew six cups. So you're going to get however many cups that you put in there. Yeah. Which I guess is a simplified yes. way of doing it. Instead of having to select cups, it's just going to brew what's in there. Now, one thing though I think I forgot to do. Nope, I put it over. So the Keurig model we had, it took, it took a while. To brew the carafe, yeah. yeah. Like a pretty long time. Yeah. I don't think, because a standard, I mean, when you buy just regular carafe coffee maker, it goes pretty quick, I think, yeah. compared to the Keurig. There it goes. So okay. it, it's done running through. Um, I should have timed it, I guess. It was it was a good five minutes. And they yeah plus. It might have been closer to ten to be um, So it's not it's not a rapid brew by any stretch. Um, and it does have a you you can um, remove this and pour a cup of coffee while it's brewing as long as you get back to it uh, quickly. And it only so we put in twelve cups and it only brewed eleven. Um, because I assume evaporation. Ooh, that's hot. Yeah. Careful hot. <laughs> okay. So, did you want to talk about the pro programmability of this real quick before we forget it on each side? So, you can um, program to brew, let's say you, you want to get up at five and you want coffee white and you can do that. Um, though it's only on the carafe side and if you have the carafe programmed, you cannot use the single serve side at all um, or it'll cancel the timer. Um, and how do you use program? Do you know how to do that? Well, apparently the machine is still doing what it's doing. Okay, so you hold the button down and adjust with that one. Yeah. Wait. So you're holding the delay button down the whole time. While you're okay. So I want it to start brewing at 5:45. 
So that tells you that it's on. If you want to check the time, you just hold it down. So 545. Where does it say it's on? Oh, the green green light. Okay. Yeah. Shows that you have a timer. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the cross side's good to go. We need to run water through the um, reservoir side. Sorry about that. Water's in there. Water's in there. You can see it shows it pretty pretty good. So we want to do single and then cup size. Now the the book says that a pod you can do six, eight, or ten. Um, it appears to me that you can do 12, 14. Do 12 or 14. So that's that's going to be for taste. If you like stronger coffee, you wouldn't want to go bigger. The Keurig goes up to 12, and that's what I have every morning. So um, I would do the 12. But we've got to run. So do we have to run just a cup through this one for yeah. cleaning purposes, or do we have to run the whole reservoir through? Just a just a cup. Okay. So we'll go 14. Yeah, so go 14 and see um, if it actually... And then you can do... Uh, bold or regular. I know I'll be doing bold. bold. Um, that's locked. Now, if something's going wrong, you can just push this button and it'll stop brewing. So if water starts going everywhere, I'm going to turn it off. Oh, again, we're not yeah. sure if it'll work with the big mug like that. I'm thinking it will, though. So let's see. Let's see. Okay, so 14, regular, brew strength. Do you want it regular? you want it? No. Since we're cleaning, it just needs to be regular. Okay. Definitely makes a different noise than the Keurig. Yeah. The coffee mug works. works so you can have a big old mug and it's use in there. it. So it's going to count up. So as it brews, it'll tell you how many ounces are in the cup. So it's brewed two ounces, three ounces, all the way up to the, 14. The 14. Yep. Okay, so we'll let this cycle through. All right, so now that we've got this cleaned as far as the water run through, we'll go ahead and um, fill the reservoir back up, or both of them back up. And then we'll go ahead and brew on each side just to show you how it works. Okay, so. Okay, cup. Locked. How many ounces would you like? Let's do 12. Actually, go up to, go up to the highest. Is it okay, highest so 14? 14. Okay, you so want bold or regular? I want bold since I'm doing so many ounces. Okay. And brew. And again, it makes a very interesting sound. Sounds like a spacecraft. Yeah. About to take off. <laughs> Actually, it sounds like a Tesla. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. And there, that's brewing. And yeah. this this side brews pretty quick, so we'll go ahead and let that brew. Um, fill up the carafe and do that side. Yeah, it's counting up the ounces. I think that's kind of cool. That just shows counting up the ounces because you, you know. You don't uh, have to guess. You don't guess, you don't have to guess how much further it has to go. Not that that side takes very long. So go ahead and fill, how many cups are you doing this time? Six. Six, so again, fill it to the, the line in there. You can see, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it's all. It's all steamy in there. Seat your craft. Now, does this one have a heating um, plate on it to keep it warm? This says it has an automatic shut off feature, shuts off coffee maker two hours after the brew cycle begins. So, my understanding is that it keeps it warm for two, two hours, hours yeah. and it doesn't have a button to then. Um, so on the Keurig, you hold down the button and it'll, um, I can't remember which button, but it, it'll add another, I believe, two, two hours, two hours hold of, the, hold the craft button down and it, it warms the plate back up. Yeah. So, 
I mean, we could try that and see if that does anything like that. We did find that you can turn that heater back on. All you do is hit the brew now button again, and it'll turn it on for an additional two hours. Just make sure there isn't any water in the reservoir when you do this. It's brewing and you wanna do a cup, you have to do it within 20 seconds or it'll, over, it'll start to overflow. So you have 20 seconds to fill your cup, is that what you're saying? Yep. Okay. But you can remove that, which we said, I mean, mid, mid yeah. brew, yeah. as we said earlier. All right, that took, I don't know how long, about the was, stand, standard size, yeah, that's fast. or size, standard time. Um, but that says it's at 14. And still dripping a little bit in there, but basically done. So as soon as that stops, we'll do the carafe. And we'll time it this time just to get an idea or give you an idea how long it takes to brew half a pot, which is what you're doing, right? Yeah. Okay. I think that's done. I'm gonna show your coffee you're using. So Invader Coffee, Lucky Bastard blend, so it's Irish cream flavor. Really, really good brand coffee. Yeah. And it's it smells wonderful. Yeah, it does. We've been really enjoying that. That's the fourth different flavor, and mm -hmm. they've all just been really good. Yeah. And we have no um, sponsor affiliation affiliation nothing with this brand we just they're just really good you found them on facebook yeah and you like them and they're veteran like owned them. and the owner has um he was a marine yeah so we like we like the veteran veteran owned stuff okay so we're gonna put Pop that right in there make sure that's over yeah, good point to, to make, to make sure that spout's over. I can see myself forgetting that, to be honest, since that is kind of a step. <laughs> um, now for the, the carafe, um, you can pick brew strength. Okay, so we're gonna do bold? We're gonna do bold. It's going to slow down the brew time. Let's do regular then, just okay. to show what a regular brew time is. So again, half a six cups is measured in the carafe. And go. Go. Okay. Yeah, it looks like you got a cup of coffee. That's nice. And it does look nice and, uh, what, dark? Yeah. You want to take a sip? It's too hot. It's too hot for me to take a sip. Sounds good. I do think the bold um, versus, is it bold? Is that what they call yeah. it? Bold versus regular, that does, at least it has in the Keurig, I, you know, made yeah, a difference. Yeah, Keurig you can pick uh, strong. Strong, yes. It. And that does, well, I guess what I'm trying to say, it makes a difference in, the, in what you actually get, brew strength wise. I was kind of skeptical that it made any difference, but it did on that. And this one gives no countdown. countdown of what it's doing. Or count up. Count up. Yeah, that's not really focusing. It just says carafe. All right, we'll time this and let you know how long it took. So six cups brew, um, took just over six minutes, about six minutes and 30 seconds. Okay. Um, I put in six cups, and it, this time it, it actually came out with six cups. Right at six, yeah. So we're not going to show you the single cup where you put the grounds in, um, but it does have a max line in there. So the max is three tablespoons. So you could, if you wanted three tablespoons, you could just fill it to the max line. If not, you could do one or two um, tablespoons. And again, this comes out. That, that. If that's closed all the way, that goes in. The needle stays in. This only, again, this only comes out for cleaning. Gotta make sure that's closed all the way. Yeah, and then you just do the same thing. Same thing as for the pods. Yeah. But that is pretty much everything. Yeah, we, we, that's that's the whole that's the whole kit right there. Um, really simple. Yeah, pretty most, simple. Mostly intuitive. Not the most attractive thing. No, um, but, but you know, hey, if it works, yeah, we don't we care if it's attractive. 
We're spoiled. When you go two days without coffee, you don't care what your coffee maker looks like as long as it works. Yeah. And it's not like unattractive. It's just not as sleek and I don't know. The yeah, Keurig, Keurig, Keurig actually puts effort into design. I wish they put more effort into functionality, functionality. and longevity. Uh, uh, but um, you know, who knows how long this one will last. Yeah, we don't know. Um, but we do have the two year warranty and I would definitely, I don't know if Keurig does the warranties, but uh, any coffee maker you buy these days, I think it's a good idea to get the warranty, yeah, just this, based this, on our experience. The single serve, because of the way it's, the, the internals work, it's the, the scale in there will um, definitely Build up. complicate your life. Yeah. But anyway, that was our unboxing and kind of uh, go through of the Hamilton Flux. Beach, what is this called again? Flex Brew Trio. Trio. Coffee maker. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions about this, leave them down in the comments section below. And again, I will link, or I'll have a link for the coffee maker, the basket, and I think that's it, um, down in the description box. That is an Amazon affiliate link though. I have to say that, so if you click on that, I may earn pennies from Amazon. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.